Americans, you are missing out on something. <laughs> The past few months have been filled with some serious adventures. I want to do that, but I'm so scared. Firstly, we began our road trip around Italy on a self-converted rainbow van. Then, since our van engine broke down, we had to pack all our belongings into a not-so-converted car. This is officially my first time being in the car. With this setup, we have been exploring Turin, Milan, Venice, and even many remote spots. The climb down was really, really, tough. <laughs> then, a few days ago, we drove all the way to the market and after getting to know this region a little bit better, we decided to get some rest out of our tiny car and spend the next 48 hours in a vegan farmhouse in the countryside. Will this accommodation serve our need of relaxation? Hello seekers, good morning! As you can see, we are not in the car because yesterday night we booked a room for two nights at Coroncina Country Relais. We arrived yesterday night and now we are gonna show you what we ate. As a first course, we have a samosa, a classical one with some vegan mayo. Let's try it. It's really hot, but it's actually really tasty. You can taste the curry inside and the pasta feel on the outside. It's really crunchy. The mayo really good too. Here we have rice with probably butternut squash and some sun-dried tomatoes. I'm curious to try it. It looks really yummy. It's crunchy on the outside. It's really good. I love it. Here we have some seitan stracchetti and peppers. The seitan, it's very good, and also the pepper. But the seitan, it's mind blowing. It's really, really good. As a dessert, we have a tiramisu each. I'm so curious to try it because it's looking really nice. It's probably one of the best we have eaten so far. Correct. The mascarpone cream, which is a vegan mascarpone, really resembles the mascarpone taste. The chocolate on top is really chocolate, and I like that. And the biscuit is enough crunchy to give a little bit of texture to it. I really like it. But now I'm hungry. Let's go have breakfast. So as a typical breakfast, they bring you some fruit juice, a muffin and some soy yogurt, that's it. But included in the price, you can ask for other different things. They give you a menu and you select the things that you want. And as you see, we chose other many things. We have a simple Americano, mini croissant, homemade cake, also and a homemade chocolate spread, some jam, vegan cheese, which I'm really curious to try. A nice kind of variety and it's looking delicious. I'm so hungry, let's eat it. And now it is also time to give you a tour of our room, which is called Le Protto. As soon as you come in, there's this huge bed with uh, linen sheets. I don't personally love the duvet, the kind of duvet, but the sheets are pretty good. It's actually really comfy because these pillows are really, really comfy. <laughs> the whole room is colored and painted with such vibrant colors, which is something not usual for a hotel room, but I actually kind of like it. It's not personally my style but it's kind of fun it's like an exciting room what i actually really like instead is that i chose to include some really healthy and natural linked pieces like this side table which is kind of cool actually i would bring it home with me it gives like a connection with the outside and the inside so approved on the side of the door you'll find a mini fridge which is actually super cooling and refrigerating. 
they left us a bottle of water but we actually had to turn it off because during the night it was kind of loud the main character of this room le proto room is actually the bathtub which is huge we can fit into that with no problems it's actually kind of uh, nice after we counted them 12 days of no washing our bodies so yesterday night having a hot bathtub here was surreal the water is coming super hot and it was so relaxing there is also a nice little table where you can get some work done but we'll probably if the weather is still good in an hour or so we'll get some work done outside which is actually the best part of this place for the colder days there's actually a fireplace which is kind of cool and i kind of wished we were here in the proper winter because it would have been nice to turn it on i'm not capable of that but i just there for that job <laughs> i'm cold <laughs> there's also a nice big closet and dirty panties <laughs> i believe there is no air conditioning so they put a fan here not the best it's okay for us because it's not hot anymore if you were wondering where the magic happens here we are the bathroom we have a nice pretty deep sink also nice recycled toilet paper like we found in the vegan hotel we stayed at in Trentino Alto Adige if you haven't watched that vlog you gotta check it out because that hotel was also really cool here instead we have the two best pieces you can find in a hotel room which is the Gucci and the bidet Americans you're missing out on something <laughs> so overall a nice nice cool hotel room the total cost for one night in this room is 120 euros you get also the breakfast you just saw it's kind of pricey but i think the best part is the outside you are surrounded by green and you have a lot of space where to relax I regret a little bit to be here in the end of September because there is a stunning place for the summer. The pool! How is it? Yeah, it's kind of cold. <laughs> you can sunbathe here. Oh, it's hot. It's really nice. You're so beautiful. Mm. There is also an outside fireplace. If you are an amok person, try it. Bada boom! Let's go. No. There is a super good smell of lavender. I love it. And here they have some fruit trees and also olive trees. And with their olive, they do a really good oil. They have two botti rooms made into wine botti, but unfortunately they were booked, so we couldn't choose them. Another cool thing is that they have a lot of dogs. This one is Pluto. This one instead, we don't know its name. <laughs> They're really nice and cutie. The owner just came out and gifted us some cherry tomatoes and some giugiole. I don't know the name in English, that's a really tough one. She was so sweet. A little appetizer. It's almost 1 p.m. actually. Working, <laughs> we get distracted. And now, after some working and some needed rest, yep. it's finally time for dinner. Yep, my nose is messed up. From a sore throat to a cold, I'm not feeling very well, but it's time for dinner. I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. Let's go. Let's go. Mm. It's a kind of bread with the rosemary inside. It's really good. Ooh. The wine is really, really good. There is a taste of wood. I really like it. 
for appetizer we have some uh, olive alla scolana and they are the same that we try at Agvis Road. Let's see which one is the best. I personally prefer one of Agvis Road, but it's really, really good. We also have to share a mix of starters. This first dish is with krauti, with a curry mayo, some cucumbers and salsa tartara. Also zucchini and tzatziki sauce, which is a super fresh combo and I'm curious to try it. It's really fresh, the zucchini is also raw, but it's actually really good. The tzatziki sauce is on point. This one is the second dish of the starter. Here we have a crostino with pumping and caramelized onion, some basil hummus, and here a zucchini omelet. Mm, it's very good. Here we have a typical Italian dish, which is tagliatelle a ragù, a vegan ragù. I'm so curious to try this one. Mm, I love the Parmesan cheese on top, which is super salty and it gives like a kick to this dish. And also the ragu is really good, mm, not the best. I think uh, made with soy, it's not the best ragu ever, but it's a good one. Here we have some polpette with uh, tomato sauce and some spinach. Wow, they are very good. They have a smoky taste and the tomato sauce is really, really good. Seekers, nowadays the chocolate salami is a must in the Thailand cuisine. I don't know what's happening, but everywhere we go, we find a chocolate salami and we had to try it. Mm. I think this one is only made with um, nuts and no biscuits. So I think it's kind of raw, I would say. There's some coconut flakes on top and it's really tasty. The chocolate is really sweet. I like it. Okay, seekers. I don't know if you can okay. see us. Yeah, here. <laughs> okay. It's time to give you a review of uh, this surreal place and its amazing kitchen. Yes. Its cuisine was on point. Yeah, really great. Um, I like the healthy but tasty. <laughs> yeah, I like the dinners yeah. and also the breakfast. The breakfast was really good. Yeah, it was perfect because we need uh, some relax. We need some some rest. Some rest. Yeah, yeah. and it was perfect. And this place is uh, really nice and really mm, like house, like yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. You felt you. I felt like home. Yeah, really nice, and I love the bath. Oh my god, it was surreal. Really, yeah. really good. The price, it's not cheap. cheap. No, yeah. we spend a total of three hundred and fifty-six euros for two nights, two dinners, and two breakfasts. So it's not cheap, but it's okay. It's yeah. a doable price for what we got. So seekers, see you in another vlog. Bye. Bye.